Is the American Dream dead? You probably heard a lot about American Dream and the Canadian Dream, right? Yung classic story of going abroad, working hard, and achieving a life of abundance. It's that story na for so many generations, parang magic formula siya for success. Especially for us Filipinos. And for a long time, it felt like that was the only way to really make it in life. Pero ngayon, things seem to have changed. And more and more people are asking, is the American or Canadian dream still alive? Or is it over? Growing up in the Philippines, the dream for so many was to go to the US or Canada to create a better life. It was almost like a universal ritual for millions of Filipinos. I know that dream personally kasi yun din ang pinangarap ko. My father was an OFW and like many others, he worked long hours abroad to provide for our family. He sacrificed so much to give us a better future. But that also meant being away from us for a long time. Imagine this, many Filipinos or Filipino families are suffering being away from their loved ones para mag-abroad at mabigyan ng magandang buhay ang family sa Pilipinas. Parang naging tradition na nga eh, na we sacrifice time with our loved ones to pursue this better life abroad. For a long time, the American dream and the Canadian dream symbolize hope and opportunity. The idea was simple, go abroad, work hard, and in return, you would achieve success financial stability, and a higher quality of life. But as I've spoken to more people, friends, family, even some of you who follow me on YouTube, the story seems to be shifting. The American dream and the Canadian dream aren't as straightforward as they used to be. More and more people are finding it harder to achieve that financial stability and success, even when they're putting in all the work. The cost of living has increased significantly, job security isn't guaranteed, and for many, the idea of a better life seems more challenging now than before. Let me share something personal with you. Is that okay? When I first moved to Canada, my goal was simple. Work as a nurse, build a better life for my family, and give them the security that my father had worked so hard to provide for us. Nursing is a stable and respected profession, and I believed it would be my key to unlocking the Canadian dream. I took on long hours, often working night shifts and weekends. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't that I didn't appreciate my job. I did. Nursing is incredibly rewarding and you're able to help people at some of their most vulnerable moments. But when I was working hard, something started to shift within me. I found myself feeling more and more burnt out. I was spending more time in the hospital than I was with my family. There were days when I would come home exhausted, barely able to spend time with my kids before crashing into bed to get ready for the next shift. I started to wonder, is this really the dream? Is this what life is supposed to look like? I was earning a good salary, yes, but the effect on my physical health, my mental well-being, and most importantly, the time with my family. It started to feel like I was losing something more valuable than the money I was making. That realization hit me hard. I began to question everything. Canada was supposed to be my ticket to financial freedom, to a life of comfort and ease. But instead, the cost of living kept rising and the pressures of work started to pile up. It wasn't just about the work anymore. It was about the time I was losing with my kids and my husband. I realized that no matter how much money I made, I couldn't get that time back. And for me, that was a wake-up call. So I made a choice, a difficult one. I decided to step away from my nursing career and start my entrepreneurial journey. Alam nyo ba? The idea of leaving a stable job terrified me at first. I had no idea where to begin. Pumasok sa isip ko, what if I fail? What if I can't provide for my family? But something kept telling me, this is the way forward. And you know what? It wasn't just a leap of faith. It was a leap 
towards freedom. But it wasn't easy. There were moments of doubt, sleepless nights, and setbacks. I had to learn everything from scratch. Marketing, branding, building a business online. There were times when I questioned myself whether I had made the right choice. But through all of that, I learned something invaluable. The dream doesn't have to look like the traditional American or Canadian dream. It doesn't have to be tied to a specific place or a specific job. It can be uniquely yours. It can be something you create for yourself on your own terms. Now, don't get me wrong. Canada and the US still offer incredible opportunities. There's a reason so many people still dream of moving to these countries. But the world is changing, and so are the ways we achieve success. The dream is evolving. It's not just about working hard anymore. It's about working smart. It's about creating passive income streams, finding ways to build financial freedom, and most importantly, living life with a sense of purpose and balance. Alam nyo ba na in the past 20 years, the cost of living in Canada has risen and it's not just housing. Groceries, utilities, they're all going up. At the same time, wages haven't kept pace with inflation. Job security isn't what it used to be either. That's why so many people are looking for alternatives. In fact, I've known many OFWs and immigrants who are choosing to start their own businesses or explore freelancing instead of relying on traditional jobs. They are realizing that relying on a single job, especially one that takes up so much of their time, isn't the only way to achieve success. And they're doing it. They're finding success by creating passive income streams, whether it's through online businesses, real estate, or investments. They're building lives where they have more control over their time and their finances. And here's the exciting part. Because of technology, because of the internet, you can start creating your own dream wherever you are in the world. Whether you're in the Philippines, Canada, or US, or somewhere else entirely, the opportunities are out there. You can create your own business, build a following, and start generating income without being tied to one location. The dream is no longer tied to a specific country or a specific job. It's about freedom. Freedom to live life on your own terms. So. Is the American or Canadian dream over? Maybe for some it is, but that's not a bad thing. It's actually an opportunity, a chance to redefine what success looks like. We are in a new era now. The dream isn't just about moving abroad anymore. It's about freedom, financial freedom, time freedom, and the freedom to live a life that makes you truly happy. Let me tell you a story about my friend. Let's just call her Carla. She had an opportunity to work as a nurse in Japan. She worked there for a few years. At first, it seemed like the perfect opportunity, good pay, and the chance to help her family financially. But as time went on, she started to feel the weight of being away from her aging parents. The distance was hard on her emotionally, especially knowing she was missing precious time with them. After her contract ended, Carla made the decision not to return to Japan. She chose to stay in the Philippines to take care of her parents. She said that no amount of money can replace the time you have with the people you love the most. Especially na tumatanda na yung parents niya. Na-realize niya na nabibilang na lang ang mga oras na kasama niya sila sa mundong ito. That was big. Now, she works locally as a nurse and feels more fulfilled being close to her family. Carla's story shows that success isn't just about earning more abroad. It's about living a life that aligns with what truly matters to you. What truly makes you happy. I want that to sink in for a moment. I want you to stop and think about this for a second. What is it that matters to you? What is it that you truly wanted? What is it that makes you truly happy? I want you to answer that honestly. Remember, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're in the US, Canada, or any parts of the world, or in the Philippines. What matters is how you define your dream. Think about it. Think of it really hard. What is it that you want? What is it that you dream of? What is it that really makes you happy? 
Your dream doesn't have to look like anyone else. It has to be yours. Let's keep this conversation going. Let me know in the comments below kung ano ang mga plano ninyo. Is it still the traditional American or Canadian dream? Or is it time to rethink what success means for you? Don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you found this helpful. Marami pa tayong pag-uusapan tungkol sa mga ganitong topics, kaya stay tuned. Until next time, ingat kayo and keep dreaming. Now that you know this, I want you to watch this next.